is officially moving day into our bedroom. We still have some blue tape around the house if you notice because I still have to do a few touch-ups in the house. They do have to still come and clean but I'm gonna go ahead and get this room set up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean the floors myself but I cannot believe we're finally here. Um, I have stuff everywhere. We were bringing it in with my parents last night so that I could film and get this video done. So I'm super excited. So let's get started. Next time I'll get it right. But for now I'll stay right here where I belong. If I make the same mistake twice, I'm old enough to know where I went wrong. Don't tell me what to say, I won't listen anyway I'm waiting for it to hurt more to stay the same When I get through this storm, I'll find it on my own And I'll mean it more than you'll ever know Next time I'm getting it right I should have done this first, but I didn't realize until I was cleaning the floors that like some of the baseboards are dirty on the top so I just grabbed my vacuum and the attachment and I'm just gonna go all around the baseboards to make sure there's no like dust or anything on them. are going to put the rug down now. So we're using the same style rug we had in our last house because we loved it so much. But we got a new one because the room's a little bit bigger and just because the boys, they always sleep on it. I just wanted a fresh one for the fresh house. So you're gonna see we're using a lot of the same things from our last house, but I also bought a few new things just to make it feel new and fresh. But don't be scared to like take whatever you have in your old house with you. But just get like new pillows, new lamps, or just stuff like that to make the space feel new since you're gonna be in a new home. But we're gonna get this put out and figure out like where it needs to be before we bring the bed in. Next time I'll get it right. But for now I'll stay right here where I belong. If I make the same mistake twice, I'm old enough to know. I have the perfect moving outfit or just hanging out during the summertime, but basically I needed some good outfits that I could move in, but also live life in because we are so busy right now. And this is one of the ones I picked out. I do want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring this part of today's video. I feel like it's summertime and here in Oklahoma, it's like freezing inside, but super hot outside. So you have to be very careful how you dress. Plus we're right in the middle of a move, but we're so busy. I can't just go super casual because we're also running to other meetings and have other things going on outside of moving right now. So I picked up a few looks. Today's look is one of them, but it's just a very comfy, casual look. I feel like these skirts are so so in style right now um, just because it's like shorts but you feel a little bit dressier you stay cool and then I paired it with this like super athletic top like it feels like just like athletic shorts so I'm not gonna get hot even though I'm in all black you guys know I love all black so I'm just gonna stay more comfortable that way so I'll go over the prices real fast but I also picked up these really cute sneakers as well because I have to be comfortable right now we are running all over we're moving and I got some really good deals from them and I have a really good like better than usual um, code coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> So let's go over some prices on these pieces. Here's the score I was talking about. So basically it has shorts on underneath so I don't have to worry about it. It's super, super comfortable. Plus it has pockets. This brand's actually like a PGA Tour so it's super lightweight because you're probably supposed to golf in it which I'm just gonna live life in it. <laughs> um, but the estimated retail value was $57. I got it for $18.99 so I got it 70% off. I can dress this up, I can dress it down, I'll throw it on with a t-shirt, I'll throw it on with like a jacket over it, I can throw it on with sandals, sneakers. I will literally live in this during the summertime. I can be out by the pool or whatever and I don't have to worry about it at all. 
Also, before I show you all of these pieces and what I paid for them, I am gonna have that link down below. So if you like what I picked, you can see the actual pieces that I purchased and you can shop similar items to find the same look. So if you like my style, you like it easy, casual, you like a lot of black <laughs> and you like to be comfortable, like I said, I'm gonna have that link down below with my coupon code that I'm gonna be sharing more about later and in that description box so you can get the same look that I have. So don't forget to check out that link. So originally, this top was $95. I got it 76% off for $24.99. It's another piece I'm gonna wear all the time. I can match it with like denim shorts. I can put it on with this. Last piece we're gonna talk about before we move on and get back to that bedroom are my tennis shoes. I was so excited when I came across these because they were Nikes, they were in my size, and I feel like it's the perfect touch of color. It's not something crazy because you guys know I love neutrals, but it's a nice little blush. So I feel girly, I feel like it livens out my outfit just a little bit. So these shoes were originally $118, I got them 65% off, so I paid $43, but I will wear these all summer. They're keeping my feet from being sore all day with moving, <laughs> but yet it like pulls my look together. So I do wanna thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I did mention earlier that I had a better than usual code for you guys. So typically they give you guys 30% off, but right now they're gonna give you 40% off with the code vacuum. So I'm gonna have their link down below in my description box. I'll have that code as well, just in case you forget it or don't know how to spell it. Vacuum can be tricky, um, but thank you guys so much. And now let's get back to decorating our bedroom. Don't tell me what to say. I will listen anyway. I'm waiting for it to hurt more to stay the same. When I get through this storm, I'll find it on my own. And I'll mean it more than you Putting this bed together really doesn't take much time at all and since it's in like four different pieces it's not heavy at all to assemble so um, and I just feel like it looks so pretty and so grand. Um, I thought about replacing it and I might later down the road but right now I just feel like it works perfectly in the space. Even if I do switch it out one day, I will totally be putting this bed in our guest bedroom because I absolutely love it. But right here, I just wanted to show you like what it looked like behind the scenes and behind the camera. We just had stuff everywhere. I just basically grabbed my parents and my dad's work fan and I was like, anything that has to go into this bedroom, I need at the new house. So we just like threw everything in there. Now these next pieces were super heavy and kind of awkward to carry in. So this isn't a part of the bed set. This is like the Dr. Oz like adjustable bed frame. We don't use it all the time, but when we're sick and like coughing and you need to like set up, it's really nice to have. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and keep it. We debated like, do we put it back in or do we not? But the few times we do need it, we really do use it and love it. And sometimes it's nice to like set up in bed and like watch TV or get work done. So like I said, it takes a little bit more maneuvering and they are super heavy, but I think it'll be nice just to go ahead and keep it in this house as well. I don't know about you guys, but I love a very soft and cushiony <laughs> bed. I like it super soft. So we have our nice pillow top and then I always have this foam cover on top of it. I just love getting into bed and like sinking in. <laughs> so we went ahead and attached that like we normally do. And now we're gonna put fresh sheets on and start making the bed. Reusing 
using your like older pieces really can save you money if you're trying to decorate a room on a budget. So we're using the same bed and the same bedding. If you wanted to freshen up your duvet cover or any of your pillows or like a blanket on top, that's another really affordable way, but we loved our whole set. So for us, it was just easy to keep it. And like I said, we're adding a few new pieces in, but the majority of this was done on a budget and we bought these pieces over the last like eight months. Um, knowing we were going to be moving and needing them. So that's another thing. Don't wait until last minute. Don't wait until you're in the new house. If you're on a tighter budget or even if you have a big budget, just start slowly buying things so it doesn't hit all at once. While we've been building this house, we've been going through like a lot of stores and just seeing different designs. And we felt like they all had like really tall mirrors above their nightstands. And we have really grand ceilings in this space. Um, every time I picked some out, they were like so expensive, like in the thousands and we needed two. And I kept saying like, if we just take our time, we'll find some. And we finally found these. I'll have to ask Chase. I don't remember which store it was. I think it was like Home Goods. Um, but they're gonna be perfect. And they were like a fraction, a fraction of the price. I'll go dig out. Like he just took them out of the box. I'll go look at it. But we're gonna hang one there and one on this side. While he's working on that, I'm also gonna start like accessorizing. Like I'm gonna bring in the chair and a few different things that I can do without his help. I still have more pillows to put on the bed too, but Savvy's in a room laying on them. So I'll bring that in towards the end. Um, but I'm really curious to get these up and to see what we think. This is gonna be such a cool view seeing it here And then I have the lamps we'll put on here um, Chase already threw the packaging away, but he said they were like 199 So they were 200 which is still a little pricey when you need two But it was way better than the like thousand fifteen hundred two thousand dollar ones that we were looking at um, So definitely do your research and do some shopping before you just buy like really expensive pieces are really heavy so what Chase was screwing in was one of these so it won't like pull on the drywall and tear it so he made a pilot hole and then he put this in it and then he's gonna put the screw into that and then the mirror won't slide or we won't have any issues with it pulling down on the wall thought we would just like throw this room together and it was gonna be so easy and so quick I honestly thought it would be like an hour hour and a half I think we spent about five hours working on this room and I feel like you never capture that on camera so just in case you're working on your space or designing a room and you don't have these like high expectations it takes a lot of work and we don't have any like little kids running around the house so I just wanted to add that just in case you needed a little dose of reality like I know it looks like this was done in like 20 minutes, but it was not. It was five hours. We were exhausted and tired. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you're working on a space or about to start working on a space. This is one of those pieces that I paid a little bit more for than I typically would have, 
but I knew in this space I was pretty much reusing everything we already had in the previous house and I just wanted to make a statement. I couldn't find a dresser that I liked that was just like normal that you could find in any store and when I found this one I just loved the lines of it because we have a lot of like harsh lines. We went very modern and so we have a lot of like squared off angles but I wanted that organic feel within the, you know, organic modern. So adding this like rounded off dresser and even the mirrors are rounded off, then it kind of softens like our big like rectangle windows and just pieces like that. So I was trying to add some curves along with like the straight angles. We're getting so close. The last thing we're gonna do is hang up the TV. I will say the best thing we did was add these as an upgrade. Typically Chase has to hang it and then we put holes in the top of the wall, the bottom of the wall, and we have to get the wire down and find it in the bottom of the hole to plug it in. Now we can just hang it and plug it in right there. So it's gonna make, make a life so much easier. I bet you're thankful for those outlets now. Oh yeah, yeah that'll make it way easier. Yeah, especially like when you're moving, you're already tired. Just getting stuff in is, everything's just so heavy. It is. And I'm old. I don't move stuff like I used to. Yeah, that dresser's deceiving. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. My dad helped move it here and I should have just had him like bring it straight in here. I just, I did not realize how heavy it was. That's why I was like dragging it on a mattress cover because I could not, I could not pick it up. So we made it work. <laughs> and I know all of you are probably saying, get the little furniture slides. That would be the smart thing to do, but we're not that smart. <laughs> so Maybe I'll pick some up before we move into the rest of the rooms because that was so much work. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit just a little moving tip if you're gonna be moving anytime in the near future. Um, I don't really unpack my drawers. I just take like saran wrap and wrap all my drawers so they won't slide open and they make like moving saran wrap you can pick up from anywhere. But that way I don't have to unpack the drawers and repack them later unless it's super heavy. But when you have like nightstands, I don't wanna clear all that out. It's super light things anyways. So like anything that was on top of my nightstand, I just threw in it, wrapped it, and it made it here just fine. And honestly, if you were here for my last move, I literally saran wrapped my Christmas tree <laughs> and brought it to my house and it held up. It wasn't as pretty as it was <laughs> when I first decorated it, but I will literally saran wrap anything and move it to not have to unpack it. And last time we were moving, it was right during Christmas season and I didn't want to like take it all down and then put it back up. And so we saran wrapped it and our movers thought we were crazy, but it worked and I didn't have to decorate that tree twice. <laughs> Coming out into 
my decor store <laughs> is what I'm calling this. Basically when we were moving out, I tried to put anything that I would decorate with over here. So when I would get to this point of like, okay, all the main things are in and now I just have to decorate. Um, I didn't think I'd need a ton in our master, but there is a gap between the dresser and the TV. So I'm trying to find stuff that's like low. This may be pretty cool. I'll take in a few pieces. We'll try them. And then when I don't use, I'll just bring back out here. But I'm just kind of looking for like low pieces. I don't need, I'd like greenery, but all this is too tall. And then candlesticks would be too tall. So I'm just going to find some like low pieces I can mess around with. These are all the pieces I decided to decorate with. I can run back out there if I need to. I know they all look really light because you're seeing all this white stuff here. But on this side of the room, it's pretty dark because of the TV. And when it's off, it's solid black. And then this black piece. So I wanted to put some light pieces on it to kind of tie that side in. Just like we got in, like we brought in the dark mirrors to tie this side in and the windows. Um, so I want to stage this. My mom gave me something just like this, but it has like humongous beads on it. I was really hoping to use that here, but I must have left it back at my old house. So I may switch that out later, but I'm going to mess around with this stuff and see if I can make it look so good. So I ran out to the building to grab a Kleenex because I'm going to store them in this planter. It's just a little hack and it looks so much nicer than a box of Kleenexes. But I found these. They were just in a different area. So like see how much bigger they are than the normal ones. So I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I'll test them both out. You're calling. I'm falling. Don't know what it is to do. Okay, we did it. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum mop my floors one more time just since we were hanging so much stuff. I feel like we have a lot of like dust and just like drywall dust from the walls. So I'm just gonna vacuum mop again and then I'm about to show you all of the after photos. Dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. We just now finished, so we are gonna do a little room tour. So this is like the hallway that goes into our bedroom. I didn't show on camera, but we put in this big mirror and tree here. This was in our master bedroom at the last house. It would still fit in this house, but I really like it with the mirror. Um, so I'll have to figure out one day if I wanna add greenery in here, but just turning the corner, it looks so pretty. I love that we added these big mirrors. So if you see, a lot of it's the same, like the bed, the bedding, the lamps, the nightstands, <laughs> um, the chair I'd moved in there. The rug is the same rug, but I did get a bigger size and a new one. But what we did add was new mirrors. We added this ottoman. I didn't know if I was gonna use it in here or my office, but it works perfect. And what's nice is this opens up so I can put like extra blankets and stuff in there. Um, we had this at our last house, but I bought it for this house and we were using it as our living room TV stand just until we could get here. But I did buy that new for this area. You can see where I've got like the light decor out over there. So it kind of grounds all that dark. And then most of the time, like if people are coming over, I'll probably have a picture put up here on the screen. So it's not so black. Um, but I just love how all this turned out all of this stuff is new other than this piece right here so when we've been out shopping i've just been trying to grab pieces because i knew once i started decorating i was going to need just a few touches to change it up and then obviously it's a different style of light since we're here in the new home but i just feel like all this furniture fits this house so much better now the other thing i was going to do was add a big black rod here and tons of white curtains <laughs> that hung down like from the ceiling down but i just don't know if i can cover up those windows yet now 
this big machine will be gone in a few days. So once that's gone, it's just a beautiful view. Um, I think I am gonna get black roller shades that I can just like pull down so we have privacy at night or during the day or we want it dark in here. Um, I'll probably hang on to those curtains because I bought them from Ikea forever ago when we were building. I don't think I can return them. So if I ever want to add them, I can. But right now it just seems so hard to like cover those up you guys will have to let me know your opinion but don't forget i have that link down below in my description box if you want to check out thread up and if you like this style i'm going to have these exact pieces linked so you can shop this style and if you're a first-time customer you're going to get 40 percent off using the code vacuum which is a steal because they already have such amazing prices but it's just perfect if you need to add to your like summer clothes like i did um any style you want they have so many different options just don't forget to click on that link and use the code vacuum but i hope you guys have a wonderful week i have tons more videos coming out if i'm not on instagram much it's because i'm here working on the house but i hope you have a wonderful week and i will see you in the next one bye Ready for that heartbreak?